Baseball is often called our national pastime, and for good reason. Here's Bill Geist with the story of some women who played a memorable role in baseball history. We hear plenty about baseball's beloved boys of summer. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with It's time you met the girls. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. brings back such memories. Mary Pratt, 93 years old, a lefty, one, two, three strikes, you're pitched a no-hitter for the Rockford Peaches back in 43. The spectators admired the fact that we girls could play ball the way we did. Janine Lesko and Katie Horseman, those were the best times of my life, really, began playing pro ball when they were just 16. Janine for the Grand Rapids Chicks, Katie and All-Star for the Fort Wayne Daisies. You remember how much you were paid back then? When $50 a week. A week, and that was good. Good, it was better than milking cows and 40 cents for mowing the lawn. <laughs> so you're still competitive after all these years. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'll be competitive till I die. <laughs> Maybelle Blair, 85, pitched for the Peoria Red Wings. Well, I was a righty, and Nolan Ryan and Sandy Koufax had nothing on me. Did you teach them some things? Oh, my gosh, yes. <laughs> one for one, for one for all, for all Americans. In all, 47 players from the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League reunited recently at the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. To see a permanent exhibit about... There I am. About themselves, really. The belt is different. That's the 50s belt. That's the uniforms they had to wear were short-skirted tunics. Oh, my God, the skirts. We didn't have sliding pads. What we had was bloomers. That's it. I have, you can still pick gravel out of my side here. I was going to call it my rear end, but you can still pick <laughs> gravel out of here. That All-American pastime, baseball, brings out the All-American Girl Baseball League for spring training at Alexandria, Virginia. Donnie Schroeder is quite confident that her hair won't get in her eyes. Skill and femininity were key. At first, players were sent to charm school. They taught us how to do makeup, how to keep our hair nice, how to walk. No slacks, no blue jeans, no shorts, skirts or dresses. Each team even had a chaperone. So he used to be a sergeant in the uh, Marines. <laughs> oh my God, she was That's tough. That's a tough chaperone. She was tough, but she kept us in line. So it's goodbye baseball and hello Uncle Sam. The league started in 1943 when the major and minor leagues were depleted by World War II. It folded in 1954 and was all but forgotten. Until 20 years ago when the hit film A League of Their Own premiered. She's under it. Did she do? <laughs> Are you crying? No. Was there ever any crying in baseball? Oh, God, we don't cry in baseball. There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you would, please, ma'am. Since the film, the players have fans again. <laughs> Hundreds of whom turned out in the rain at Alliance Bank Stadium in Syracuse. And when the skies cleared, they played a ball game. We're ready to go. Some playing for the first time in decades. Okay, let's go. Maybell coached a team of old timers mixed with some young players. There was no excuses out there. And Maybell was out to win. Listen, we're going to try to beat their rear ends, and uh, it's going to be rough, but we're going to try. Three, three. All right, come on, get it, get it. They still have that old competitive spirit, certainly. Hurry, 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 hurry. You're gonna lose. They don't feel like seniors. Yeah. And they sure don't hit like them.
80-year-olds playing ball like 10-year-olds. Oh, they've won all right. Do you think they still got it? Oh, they, we have all, we'll always have it, Bill. <laughs> Until they put us under the ground and sit above this grass.